Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this here denim jacket that I purchased from the mall into a stained glass jacket. Some people may refer to them as window pane jackets. So what I'll be doing is taking this here fabric that I purchased from Joann's. It is a sheer fabric, and I'm going to be replacing this with some of the panels throughout the jacket. And so I'm going to go over the supplies really quick, and then we're going to hop right into this. So you'll need your denim jacket, of course. Um, you'll need some type of fabric, sheer or embroidery fabric. Looks really good when you're making these jackets. You'll also need scissors. You'll need needle and thread. I'll be using my sewing machine, but if you don't have one, you can do it with needle and thread. And then I'm going to use this here sticky fabric tape. It's a double-sided tape that I'm going to place inside the jacket to attach the fabric to before I sew the fabric on to the jacket. And I'll show you all the steps as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's go. Okay, guys and gals, let's do this. So I'm going to take a look at my jacket. That's the first thing you want to do and figure out which panels you want to remove. So I do know I want to remove this panel here as well as this panel and this one. I'm going to leave this one here. And on the back, I'm pretty much going to be replacing this top one and all three of these panels here. So I'm the sleeves, I'm not going to do anything with the sleeves, just the jacket, just this part here. All right, so first thing you want to do is open up your jacket and then we're going to start panel by panel. Okay, so if you want to grab your fabric and if your fabric has a right and a wrong side, you want to make sure you have the right side facing down because that's the part that's going to show through on the outside of your jacket. So this fabric here really doesn't have a right or a wrong side. So I can pretty much just place it down and not have to worry about it. Well, actually, this side does look a little bit brighter. So yeah, I'm going to put this side down. And so I'm going to just lay it out first. And I'm going to leave a little bit of fabric allowance, just or seam allowance, just for when um, after I put my tape on and then I stitch everything together, then that way, then I could go back and cut. So now that I know where I want to put it or that I have my fabric laid where it's going to go, I'm going to get my tape and this is a double-sided sticky tape so you just want to lay it down around where you're going to want to have that fabric stick to so i'm gonna start here and just go across and actually i'm gonna start a little bit in about right here And then once you have it, your tape where you want it, then you would just peel it up. So I'm going to put all my pieces down and then I'll peel the tape up. Well, the backing, not peel the tape up. Okay, and so once you put it down, you want to press on it firmly and then you'll just peel that paper away. And so I'm going to do this for this entire section. And you want to make sure you put it right over that stitching.
Okay, now I have all my fabric tape down. Then I am going to go ahead and get my fabric back right. It actually slipped off the table a little bit. So then I'm going to go ahead and lay this back down where I want to put it. And you can move it. So if you need to adjust it, you can lift it and adjust it. And I just want to make sure that it is nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to press that fabric to the tape. Now with this tape, you uh, would you could just heat press or use a handheld iron to make it permanent. I'm actually going, going to do both. I'm going to stitch and I'm also going to heat press and make sure that it is permanent. Now, honestly, at this point, well, after you press it, you could be done. You could cut out your panels and you're good to go. But I just want to make sure my fabric is secure. Even after I do press the sticky tape, I just want to, I'm going to do an outline stitch and that way I know that my jacket will be secure. Well, my fabric will be secure. All right. So I am just trimming the fabric off. I still have that extra fabric allowance around where I put the sticky tape. So now I'm going to go ahead and press this and then I'm going to stitch it. So I'm going to take this to the heat press and then we'll go over to the um, sewing machine to do the stitching. All right, so I press the fabric onto the jacket and so, well, the sticky tape, I press that. And one thing I forgot to mention is let it cool. Once you press it, give it about five or 10 minutes, let it cool down, and then you're ready to sew. Now, if you don't want to sew, you can actually stop at this step and trim everything around. And I'll show you shortly how I go in and cut off, separate the two and cut the actual denim off and leave the fabric exposed. So we're going to head over to the sewing machine now, but I just didn't want to forget to tell you that part to let this cool down after you press it. All right, so we are at the sewing machine and then I'm going to go ahead and get my jacket on here. And what I'm going to do is sew not on the seam, but right up against it. Just right up against right here. And you want to make sure as well that you leave your needle in a down position when it does stop. So that way you can just pivot with no problem. So I'm just... Checking where my needle is, make sure I'm good. And we are good to go. So then I'm also going to, was going to change my stitch, but I'm gonna just leave it where it is. So I have my presser foot down and I'm gonna start with a back stitch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch again right up against the seam. You don't want to go through the seam just in case you don't have the right needle in. You don't want to break your needle because this is denim that we're working with. All right, so then and then just double check, make sure you're up against that seam.
Okay, so now this is the point. Actually, I'm gonna go just a couple more stitches. Okay, so this is the point where you're gonna lift your presser foot up with your needle sunk down, and then you're going to pivot. And then you're gonna let your presser foot down and do the same thing, sit, stitch right up against that seam. So I have my stitching in now, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this here border and then we're going to remove that denim. So I'm actually going to get it right, cut right on the edge all the way around. Then any excess I'll clean up after the fact. And I'm just getting it right up next to that seam where that tape was placed. and then just cut that off. And I'm gonna go back and get these little small pieces. Make sure it's nice and cleaned up. And if you have to, you may have to use some smaller scissors. And this is the, mo the longest part of this entire project actually is cutting all these extra pieces off and so i'm actually go in with my smaller scissor and get that cleaned up without cutting your jacket of course be very careful that you don't cut your jacket Now, if I wasn't going to be doing the panel next to it, I honestly, I probably may have left it as is or just uh, cleaned it up later. But seeing that I'm going to be exposing and removing more of the denim, that will show. So you want to make sure that you do have that cleaned up really nicely. I do have a few pieces over here. Okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and so that is what it's going to look like once you have you tape on, um, you press your fabric on, and you do your stitching. Again, if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't want to do the stitching, you can just do the tape, press it, and then you can be good to go as far as not having to stitch anything.
So now I'm going to take the fabric and make sure it's separate from my jacket. And I'm going to do it right there. And I'm just going to put a snip in it. All right. And then I'm going to cut up to where the stitching is. And then we're just going to cut around. And I'm just filling inside just to make sure I'm not like cutting any of the actual sheer fabric that would cause you to have to basically start over. And then same thing, I'm just, I have my hand in there just to make sure that fabric doesn't get cut. And get as close to it as you can. Um, it's mine, I want it to have a bit of a, a rough or like a rugged look. So it's not going to be super neat, but if you want to go for a very clean um crisp type of cut or finish i would say maybe use some smaller scissors uh something like these and then just kind of take your time going around and cutting everything Okay, so this bottom piece, this is where I taped above the seam, just a little bit above the seam here. So the fabric stops right here. So again, I'm just getting as close as I can. I don't want to cut my fabric, of course. And then same, I'm, I still have my fingers underneath here and they're like underneath the scissors. I'm just using my hand as a guide to make sure none of the fabric gets cut. okay and so here is how the first panel looks that looks so cute with this jacket and i am gonna take my smaller scissors and just clean up this now you can just leave it um, if you want it to start fraying up or you can use some fray check and that will actually stop your item your garment from fraying so this is the fray check i get this um i got this at amazon did i get it from amazon or joann's i i ordered this one from amazon so i'll make sure to have this linked in the description box as well with the rest of the supplies so i have one panel down and many more to go so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and then come back once everything is finished and I'll even do a try on. Quick tip. So if you're worried about maybe if you're gonna cut your fabric when you do that first snip to start cutting out the denim, you can always snip your denim ahead of time and then you'll already have that hole there. So I just wanted to share that with you really quick and I will see you in a second. 
Hey guys, welcome back. So I am all done. I pretty much, I didn't take out all the panels, but I did quite a few. And I wanted to leave some of the panels on there and then kind of have it mix with the panels as well as the fabric. But I love how it turned out. So I ended up doing the two pieces up here as well as the piece, two pieces on the side here on each side. And then in the back, I did the top panel and the center panel. So that's how it looks in the back. So I'm really loving how it turned out. Um, once I get all dressed up and get, a, get it styled, I'll post a picture on my community tab so you guys can see the jacket once I get dressed up with it on and how I style it. And if you have any questions, let me know below in the comments and I'll be happy to answer for you. But until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.